Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel, How to Paint Watercolours. And we'll paint this one today, it's a, a seaside one, or a seascape one, just as day's breaking. This is £90 paper from Windsor & Newton and I'm just keeping the top half wet and I'm just mopping up any water that might be left around the edges minimise run backs for those of you that's just joined us if you uh, go to the description box and click on that there'll be a link in the description box which I'll put in which will take you to the rest of the videos that I have made for YouTube should you wish to view something else or something more this is cadmium yellow medium I want it just a little bit lighter than that so I'm just going to add some water to it always remember it will dry lighter but I want this to be quite on the pale side touch of very watery cobalt blue do this with any brush that you feel comfortable with I'm using a, a dagger brush but you can use a flat brush or a round one it doesn't matter then into that I just want to brush through some orange made with a cadmium yellow medium and cadmium red and I also want a touch of this in the bottom all right Naples yellow and permanent rose Don't worry about it going on the rocks. I also want to swoop in some Naples yellow there and some Naples yellow at the top. It's a very pale looking sky. Strengthening the pink up down here. Allowing all this to drift up and mingle together. And with some clean water, right up to the edge of the horizon line and down to the little break line where the uh, waves are just breaking there, or a wave has just broken. In between the waves here, with some clean water. Again, just taking a little bit of Naples yellow and putting it in the sea. Very pale. Just a tiny bit of the yellow. Then with your very weak wash of the cobalt blue. And if you don't work it too hard into the yellow, you won't get a green gently does it and taking some of your pink Naples yellow and permanent rolls do the rocks at the back now French ultramarine and burnt umber and then once this is still wet we will be adding in some sepia and French ultramarine which is just a darker colour And if it hits the sea I'm not too bothered and after a little bit of reflection so this is the sepia and French ultramarine darkening the back edge of these rocks so where a shadow might fall Just gently touching the, the other wet colour. And then we're going to leave this to dry. Okay, this is a, a wheat mix of cobalt blue, burnt sienna, and just a touch, a tiny, tiny speck of Venetian red. And we're just going to put some movement in the water. And just to build it up slowly. Just 
tried to catch the tooth of the paper. There's not much tooth on this uh, paper. So I'll have to do it bit by bit. Give my arm. Then with a stronger mix, just add a little shape to this uh, wave here. Same colour, it's just stronger. Surf back. <clears throat> I think we just need to fill this in just a little more. Just gently rocking it from side to side, but not uh, too much. Just using a very small flat brush. Take some clean water and soften this in. Soften a little of this. Okay, and now we can leave all this to dry. Now it's all nice and dry. Just take a, a craft knife, a cloth blade, and like I've done here, just use a ruler and make sure they're straight and just uh, leave some white of the paper showing through, just adds a little bit of sparkle onto the water, as you can see, and then just to bring a little bit more back into it, I've just got some white gouache, and I just want to drop some around where I think it should, where it will help, so where the paint has travelled just a little bit too far for uh, my liking. But you don't have to do this. I'm using a flat brush, but you can use any brush you feel comfortable with. And this is straight from the tube. There's no water added to it. Just bring in a tiny bit of movement, but it's one of them soft setting suns. Get plenty on your brush. Just got to make a, a quick apology at the end of this film. Uh, it seems I've had a bit of trouble with the camera uh, as I've come to edit it, edit it and I found out that short specs of it are missing that have not been recorded. So I do apologise for that. So you've come to the end of your painting. I didn't record this bit either. So what I did, I, all I did was just put uh, a wash earlier on of the, the sea colour of the cobalt blue with a speck of uh, Venetian red into it. Uh, some other colour. Uh, I think it would be uh, burnt umber. And then all I did was add some seagulls in it. Very tiny, just to give the rocks some perspective for size. Then you get down to your best bit, which is to sign it, mount it and frame it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button. If you're a new watcher, please consider subscribing. And if you want to view some other videos that I've made for YouTube on watercolour painting, I will leave a link in the description box. And if you click on that, it will take you straight to them. So once again, thank you very much for watching.